Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to start with a new series to learn a new programming language and that is Kotlin. So with this series we are uh, going to see and it going to be a very exciting series because Kotlin is a very interesting language. It is a general purpose programming language that is gaining a lot of popularity and it is and it is one of the most uh, fastest growing uh, language currently in the technology space and the reasons are because of android development because of backend development and due to various more reasons so let's see what we are going to do in this series and what we are going to do in this series and how this series is going to be so before we move forward please subscribe to the channel if you are new here and press the like button if you are excited for this new Kotlin series okay so this new series of Kotlin is going to be completely beginner friendly if you are if you this is your first language basically then also it would be fine though I would prefer that you should have at least some kind of programming experience before starting with Kotlin it would be much better but still you will be able to catch up with this series in case this is your first programming language also okay and those of you uh, who are Java developer who already know Java programming language for them it is going to be a very fun and very easy to learn series okay so and the reasons for learning Kotlin is Android development is Kotlin first so officially Google has already said that Android is Kotlin first so the all the new updates that will be coming for the Android developers will come for the Kotlin language and for Java uh, language it may come it may not come it's just optional okay so basically they are going completely Kotlin first second is the biggest reason for using Java in the enterprise market is spring framework and the spring uh, framework also supports Kotlin as the primary languages along with Java so this is one of the reason why it is being used and its popularity is growing and third is there are uh, not all but there are significant big companies who are using Kotlin alongside Java like uh, there are companies like Atlassian, Google, Facebook, Amazon and there are many companies okay which are currently using Kotlin alongside Java also so they are either building their complete Android application from java to kotlin or they are building their new backend services in spring boot using kotlin programming so these are the things why you should be learning kotlin because the opportunity opens up very much for it now there may be some kind of debate or some kind of people you may see which would say java versus kotlin it's very interesting to see such debates and uh, read such uh, Kotlin versus Java thing but personally I think Java plus Kotlin is the best way to go forward and to be to be a person to be a developer who can grab the opportunity whichever comes up so for me also it's not that I have been I know Kotlin for a very long time it's been few months only I have I'm I also learned Kotlin because of the professional work only so that's why i want to just share my learning with this series and uh, i hope this will be a very exciting one and main important reason for learning kotlin is learning new programming language gives a fresh perspective to think differently and it's exciting journey to learn something interesting this is the most important thing that you should always have in your mind that every programming language is designed in a different way it may look that okay kotlin is uh, kind of same to java only or this programming language is same to this only why should we learn it? but the thing is every programming language whether uh, you like it or not that can be a different case or maybe you use it or not it's also different but the thing is if you're learning a new programming language so you will get a new perspective a new a way to think differently and it may help in your uh, when you're writing the code with your own favorite programming language okay so that is the reason why you should give a chance to yourself to learn kotlin so 
that is another thing that I always uh, see whenever I get a chance to learn a new programming language or any framework for that matter. Now the prerequisite for this is very simple. You should have a latest JDK. So currently the latest JDK is 21 and the ID we require is IntelliJ IDEA community. I would prefer IntelliJ IDEA over any other because the support for Kotlin in IntelliJ IDEA is very much superior compared to in Eclipse or in VS Code or in any other ID. So that would be really awesome if you just use IntelliJ IDEA community version. Okay, so let's at least create a hello world in Kotlin. Okay, and from next lectures, we will formally start with various topics. Okay. So here is the IntelliJ IDEA community and in the project section will come here new project here in new project I'll give it as learn Kotlin. I'll write learn Kotlin. I'll select Kotlin as the programming language here in the build system. We will not uh, choose Maven or Gradle because currently we are focus is on learning the Kotlin. So if you select IntelliJ as a build system it will just give you a very simple structure of the Kotlin project so that we want okay and you can uh, select the latest JDK I have 17 and 21 both here but I will select go for the open JDK 21 and yeah so nothing much to do let's create the project it will take some time actually to run the to compile the Kotlin programs you also need Kotlin compiler but you don't have to install any compiler into your system because IntelliJ does it for you automatically. Okay. It has uh, everything that you require in it itself. Right. So our project is now ready. Now, if you open the project, you will see that there is a Kotlin folder here. So just right click on it new and here select Kotlin class or file option. Okay. And here we will select Kotlin file option and i will name it as hello world okay this very simple one we know that if you know about java so java is an object oriented programming language where we were writing everything inside class but kotlin is a general purpose programming language it supports object orientation also but it's not only object oriented okay so the entry point in kotlin is a main function so let's define a main function so, so to define a function we use the keyword fun fun then we write main brackets and then curly braces this is as simple as that and then we have a function known as print so we will say print print ln print line okay here we will write hello world simply also in kotlin you don't need to specify semicolon it is completely optional so it's better to not put rather than to put. So just right click here and say run Kotlin hello world KT. Uh, the KT is the dot KT is the extension for Kotlin files. Okay. So if we run it, we are getting our hello world here as you can see. Perfect. So congrats on your first Kotlin program that you have wrote here. And in our upcoming journey towards this in this series, we will explore in depth in Kotlin from very basic to very advanced so there is no need to worry and i will explain you each and every concept with examples so that there is no confusion about those concepts okay so as per my own personal experience of learning kotlin in last uh, one or two uh, months that i have been learning it because of my uh, requirement in the professional work i've seen that it's really amazing and interesting language and to work with it is very great but not to say still for me because i've been using java for a long time java remains as my favorite programming language but yeah i'm very very much liking the kotlin also along with it so that's why i prefer java plus kotlin as the way forward for my professional career you can write your comments your thoughts in the comment section and how much you are excited for it and what you think about it so that's for all this in this video i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye